Christmas morning. Here we go. We got a lot. What is it? Oh, nice. We got Ahsoka. It can't be all Ahsoka, though. Nice. Got the client. Yeah, this is that more recent wave. Echo's in there. Oh, that one's cool. That one might be a cop right there. Another Ahsoka. Yeah, and there's Echo and Omega. Beautiful. Yep, that's the ones. Target for the win. Thanks, brother. Appreciate the help. No problem. Welcome, everybody, to Collecting Star Wars. Well, we're back in the action figure arcade to bring you not just one action figure, but two for review. First, we got from Star Wars The Black Series, it's Wrecker from The Bad Batch. And from The Mandalorian, it's the Death Watch Mandalorian. These figures are awesome. So glad to add them to the collection. But hey, let's talk more action figure. Let's open them up and have some fun! And here we have our Black Series Death Watch Mandalorian and Wrecker out of the box and ready to rock. Let's start with the Death Watch Mandalorian, his accessories that he comes with, his awesome rifle. Love this. Looks really cool. Reminds me of Boba Fett's. And he gets a blaster pistol. A little bit more detail on that. Not just all black, but actually has that brown hilt um, or handle there. Looking really cool. And of course, can't be a Mandalorian without a jetpack. And this one is gorgeous. The um, ports do bend here on the end, so you can have those blast effects coming out, peg holes in there and move those around. And it looks really good. Painted with silver accents on the blue plastic. I like it. Very cool. Matches his decor, which is mostly blue with a little bit of a gray jumpsuit underneath. Some purple accents and some white as well. And yes, this is the one thing that every single Mandalorian action figure should come with. If they have a range finder, it should move. And so this one, they did that for you. Looks great, stays steady, holds in position. And his head, often what they'll do with uh, Black Series figures like this, they'll give you a helmet. If you can't take it off, then it's just sort of permanently glued on to a head sculpt underneath. This you can see, it's not a head sculpt, but it does look like it kind of has a chin there. So I wonder if they sort of painted the, uh, or I'm sorry, molded the shape of the head into the helmet itself. And that's why you get such great articulation and movement from that head, spins all around, has a neck joint and a head um, ball joint. So you get so much movement out of him. So nice design there. It's got the nice tattered and battle worn armor that he's wearing. Looks cool. The belt's got pouches on it. It's got a holster that opens up and you can put in the blaster right there. Nice and easy and holds firmly in place. And just, a, just some nice 
details on his gauntlet, all the weaponry and sort of armament that you would expect from a Mandalorian. This guy gives you right down to the knee rockets. Can't beat that. Looks good through and through. Just has single jointed um, knees and elbows, which I found interesting, not double, but you still get a lot of movement and posability out of this guy. So even though he's not perfect, he's not far from it. Independent shoulder pads as well. So a good figure. You can have a lot of fun with this guy. Check out that Death Watch Mandalorian. Now let's take a look at the deluxe figure. It's Wrecker. He comes with a backpack as well. Nicely painted with the little skull logo of Clone Force 99. Different accents on there. Red and blue. And has a T-peg right there in the back and is sculpted and curved to fit his back. It goes on really well and actually stays in position very nicely. Comes with his rifle. Very cool and distinctive right from the show. Like that a lot. And this one big, gigantic, awesome knife. Look at this thing. Serrated, great handle, silver metallic paint. This looks rad, great accessory. And it does slip right into the sheath on his leg. And of all the helmets in Star Wars, and there's a lot, and they're all good. This one is quickly becoming one of my most favorite. Love the look, the deco. It's got that monster face with the fangs on it and the 99 on his forehead. So cool, just digging this thing. Awesome aesthetic. And I love that it comes off as well because Wrecker, so much of his character is not just his armor and his helmet, but it's his face. Look at that, and they've captured it. All the damage and the scarring and the character just bleeds through his one blind eye, but yet that friendly, goofy smile that lets you know he's a tough son of a gun, but he's also has a big heart and it shines through in this magnificent face sculpt. Really well done. And again, he's got wonderful battle damage on his armor. Really nicely done. Excellent. I love it. I love it when your troopers just have the right amount of wear, not dirt and mud, but just scuff and scrapes. So you can tell his armor has been holding up and getting the job done in battle. There's the sheath for that long knife. It slides right in there and nice red accents as well. There's a skull on his shoulder, the 99. There's the T-peg for the backpack. And yeah, just a tremendous deluxe figure. Uh, glad I got him. I debated on whether I wanted to pick him up for a while, but when I gave him away as a giveaway, I thought, you know what? I'm gonna say goodbye, but I'm gonna get a new one because he is just too much fun not to have in my collection. And the fact that D. Bradley Baker in the um, Clone Wars and in the, the Bad Batch series does all the voices for all the clones and yet makes them so unique and such different and unique personalities really comes through and makes these characters lovable and desirable and you just have to get them in your collection so I could not pass up on Wrecker. And that's our review of the Black Series Death Watch Mandalorian and Wrecker. Thank you guys for watching. Please hit like, please subscribe, follow us on social media. On Twitter, we are at Stevo Says Stuff, and on Instagram, we're collecting Star Wars YouTube. You can even follow our other YouTube channel for inspirational videos, and that's called Devo with Stevo. But until next time, remember be kind, stay strong, because you are the hero of your own story.